What if you could work from anywhere? Where would you go? In today's episode, I'm meeting up with Anas and Noeli. This French couple decided to trade their London city life for a life on the sea, even though they had hardly any sailing experience. For two years now, they've been living, working and traveling on board their Lagoon 42. What got us into sailing? Um, just, yeah, we love, love traveling, we love the freedom and wanted to be able to travel but with our stuff without having to pack everything in one suitcase so sailing made sense. Yeah, it, it could have been <laughs> that a van, or RV, it could have been a sailboat. Yeah. We went for sailboat because we loved being on the water and I played surf a lot. I love diving. We were always going on holiday to those really nice islands so it made sense to go for a boat and then we learned sailing to live on a boat but it wasn't, yeah. we, it wasn't a passion of us before that no. I guess. Yeah we never lived close to the sea so sailing no. wasn't a thing for us. No. So yeah. you decided to go for boat life while you hadn't sailed before? Yeah, yeah. completely. It was yeah. completely new. <laughs> uh, total info right? Yeah. Figure it out. So did you order the boats before going sailing for the first time or had you sailed before buying the boat? We did five days, a five day course like competent crew. Yeah. When we went back from that competent crew we went to a boat show. Yeah. Mm. To basically make our final choice and then a couple of months later we ordered. Yeah. So, so we had five days. It was kind of the experience. test, do we like to be on a boat? Yes yeah. or not? We loved it. So like yeah. okay let's so uh, there wasn't too much of a time space between no. the courses and us purchasing the boat we went straight in yeah <laughs> and yeah. it worked out really well it could have gone yeah. the other way and yeah. we could have hated it but i think we uh, we made the yeah. right decision overall mm. all right so a little bit about the boat what kind of boat is it so she's a lagoon 42 yeah. uh, she's two years old now nearly mm -hmm. uh, so we got her in 2020 yeah. um so it's best basically a cruising catamaran and she's Quite slow, quite heavy, but she's spacious, very comfortable, which, which was what we were after essentially, like a nice homey, yeah. floating home, yeah, essentially. Yeah. So did you look at multiple options or did you just fall in love with this? And we looked at a few options and actually it wasn't the boat we were initially aiming for. Okay. Uh, because of the budget, we're aiming for a smaller one initially, yeah. and we're actually looking at production catamarans mainly. Yeah. So we didn't look at the second-hand market because we didn't have any experience, and it meant trusting people, trusting someone to just tell us, and we Survey. read and heard so many stories of that going bad, so we're like, I uh, we don't want to risk that yeah. for that much money. So then we went for something new, and yeah, production catamarans just made sense, so we looked at pretty much all the big brands. Yeah. Um, so a few of them in boat shows in the UK, south of France, mm. and then yeah, initially at the end it was like between I think the Lucia 40 from Fontaine Pajot and looking at Lagoon 40 or maybe Lagoon 42. Yeah. And then in the end, and like, we stretched yeah. the budget a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad so we did. Yeah. But it would, Monohol, we looked at it first, I think, because obviously it was a lot more affordable for us. But straight, because we work full time on the boat, we wanted somewhere that leave somewhere that felt like we we're on holiday, still on the boat. So it's yeah. so spacious, airy. You can see everything around. So even if we work during the day, it still feels like we get a bit of that lifestyle yeah. during the week. And I'm, I think we did we did great on that decision. Yes, it's more expensive, but we making the most of, of the experience. Yeah. So, do you remember? the first time sailing with this boat uh, I do yes. remember. Yeah. it was um so lagoon when you buy a, a new boat so you've got a captain for a couple of days so it's like yeah. sort of a handover where they explain how the boat works and they take you at sea and we we're really excited yeah and we we had the safety of someone knowing how to sail and how to sail this boat in particular yeah uh, but yeah it was exhilarating to, mm. to see her and her sails up for the first time i remember so yeah. great and we flew all our sails yeah we got to try all our sails um, yeah. we purchased four sails like the main and the general of course and then i did the spinnaker nectar and the good zero yeah and we got to test them all on the same day yeah it was so nice yeah. yeah we had like perfect weather light wind Beautiful maybe 10 15 knots mm. so just perfect to try everything yeah and to still feel safe so yeah 
<laughs> what we didn't like was the maneuvering at first. It was like nerve wracking. Because yeah, yeah, you go sailing, that's great, but you still have to get out of the port and come back. And it was a huge port as well with tide. Yeah. Because it was up north and like north of France. Uh, so that was tricky. <laughs> yeah, steep learning um, curve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maneuvering is safe, 7.5 meters, but. We both tried, now you only do it, but yeah. uh, we both did it and it was a bit scary. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody has yeah. that. Yeah. And not just for your boat, you don't want to be no. like, damaging someone else boat either and be yeah. the one who damaged someone yeah. else boat on the, in the port. So. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. We are welcome in the saloon. Um, so it's quite a spacious, <laughs> spacious room. It's probably where we spend most of the time because we work on this table, sometimes outside. But most of the time we sit around. So we've got the galley, which is yeah. a U-shape, which is really nice when you're on the way. It's quite safe. And what we really like about this boat is the round edges. So if you go on a Fontaine Pajot, you'll see it's all sharp edges. And we didn't really like that, especially because we're clumsy and I get bruised all over. <laughs> and this is perfect for me. But anyway, lots of storage. You've got gas, the bean is there. Uh, cutlery, I mean, you kind of organize it the way you want, but we've added a microwave. You could have that as an option on the Goon for 2,000 euro if you want to. <laughs> so affordable. Oh my um, goodness. That costed maybe 50 quid. <laughs> and it still looks nice, I think. More storage under the floor and under the sofa here. This yep. is all storage where we store this, fridge. This, yeah. um, and then we've got a freezer on this side. Huge freezer that goes all the way down. Uh, a few shelves as well on either side, these behind you as well, and a fridge that we broke the handle. Chart table! Honestly, we never seen at the chart table. We don't even have charts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's still nice. So, I mean, it's always a mess, right? Everyone's chart table is a bit messy, I think. Yeah. But, Do you yeah, want to show how messy it is? <laughs> it's not that bad, I think. No. A lot of lights and. We know where flags. everything is. It's, it's an organized it's mess. Organized mess. That we have there. A bit more light. Well, you make the bed every morning, and this is super convenient because you can go on either side. Oh, yeah, side. I can walk on either side. That's cool. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's my favorite thing about the. We have lights bedroom. next to on each side of the bed that are quite useful. Yeah. They're cool. Ventilation, amazing. Yeah, we have so many hatches, which is super nice because then, like, you get a good airflow in this room. Yeah. Um, bed are quite, it's quite comfortable. The shape is kind of weird. Yeah, but, but I guess it's all the boats, it's always like that. So we've got more storage here. Yeah, Under all the here. boats, you've got extra storage. Storage on this side. Uh, then here we have access to the bilge pumps. We have more storage here for like clothes and everything. Behind this panel, we have some of our equipment, like the AIS and some other like connections. This um, was an option. So yeah. it was in most of the Lagoon 42, you'll notice that it's a sofa. Yeah, by default you have a sofa and then you can ask to have it like to have kind of this desk space and also then more storage on this side it's and right space. there is that the is most red book on the boat <laughs> this is the, <laughs> this we is bought this book. one but i think we read three pages of it yeah. <laughs> and then we actually moved the right way to like more advanced stuff because well, then we knew exactly what we wanted to learn yeah. uh, i mean it has a lot every now and then i'm just open a chapter and go to something specific. But your favorite is this one. It's in French, but this one is to adjust yeah. sail and you still read it. How to lots. trim your sails perfectly. Yeah. And then oh. this is kind of the Bible for all the French sailors. They would recognize that. And it's from a very famous school in, in France. In Brittany, yeah. yeah. And this door slides as well. So it's really, I think this is a great feature. Most catherine have that, to be yeah. honest. So when we've got guests, we kind of separate and you have got privacy. Yeah. And then behind it, we have, oh, uh, then we have just some more, some more equipment here. Yeah. Inverter, electrical systems. So yeah, it's easy to access. Yeah, we've got a skip hatch. Um, so the stairs flips and you've got a hammer underneath. Yeah. You can watch the fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah this is something that people like. Else. Like we like it as well. Every morning, you know, yeah, before yeah, going up, you have a have a quick look. You're like, oh, the water is nice here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah <it's laughs> nice. bathroom, very, very nice bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> no, I like the window, even though like most of the time you close it because yeah. you know, you know, when you're in bathroom, you you want a bit of privacy. <laughs> um, we kind of had this one made electric, so that's the only toilet we have electric. We didn't want to have everything electric initially because we had like you, there are a lot of issues with electric toilets, so we kind of played it safe. So we have two manual on the other side and one electric here. 
but I have to say I'm quite happy that's Electra is super mm. handy. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, this, it's quite spacious, and then we have like a full on shower, and we have another hatch on, on that side. We didn't say that actually from the beginning, but we've got a loner version, which means the starboard side is like a full end suite. So you've got the bedroom, wardrobes, and the bathroom. You can have full cabins, and the full cabins will look the same on either side. So at the moment, we've got a guest on board. Um, so it's our bedroom. Um, oops, so she's got all her stuff. It's the same bed as the other side, same size, except she's got a smaller shower. Um, I'll let you film it because yep. I don't think we can fit two people in there. <laughs> the smaller forward peak cabin. Um, so a lot of people use that as garage, <laughs> or when they've got kids, the kids uh, sleep here. It's very cute. It's still a double bed, but it's a little bit narrower, so a bit. Bit smaller, but it's got still got nice window ventilation and a few shelves here, and more of a head. It's not really like a proper bathroom. It's more just like a small, small head, um, but it works fine. That's it. So, lounge area. Yeah, this is like the chill area. Whenever we have <laughs> friends, friends on board or guests, this is where like everyone is most of the time, because it's in the shadows, all spacious. Yeah. And also when we work. I kind of hover between there, there, the table. Yeah, you warm up there, uh, all the spots on the boat. Yeah, I can't stay in one place, so I'll work all over. Um, and then the David system is actually one of our favorite features of this boat. Yeah, for um, the dinghy so you here. really take the dinghy out of the water quite high up. Yeah, so this, you can lift the dinghy all the way here, which is quite nice. Because then, like we even said, we keep the engine on the dinghy and it's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, this is super nice. Yeah. Jan Maren jeans. Jan Maren jeans. We have, yeah, it's mainly the engine here. We have our water maker there. Aqua yeah. Base. It's Aqua Base. Quite like it. We can make 105 liters per hour. And we also have a, a, like, um, a pump on this side that we can use. Uh, so we have two, two in and out points at the end. So it's quite useful because when we get to a marina, we can just plug the boat and basically have running water right away from the marina. That and was an option. That was an option, and also if you want to wash the boat, you can just plug a hose in, in one of these. So on this side, and then you can clean the boat with either fresh or salt water, which is just yeah, which is great, great option. Surprisingly, our broker was kind of saying it's pointless. We insisted, and we're very, very glad we did. So don't listen to your broker. That's so <laughs> where did you get all your information on what you wanted to upgrade and not not being sailors yet? Oh, so YouTube, online, yeah. lots of reading. Yeah. I think we were asking people, but we soon realized that everyone has, you know, different expectation, lifestyle, and look at things differently. So we're often getting like contradicting, conflicting, conflicting ideas. ideas around, you know, what you should get and should not get. Yeah. So the most like it was there was a, a learning curve. Let's say we picked a lot of options without even knowing what it was, and touch wood, it was we're quite happy with it in the end. Yeah, and some were like, oh. If only we knew more. More well, technical this. things, I guess, like electro electrical system. We know Anas knows a lot more now, and there would there there are things that we would do differently. But all the big main options, I think, we did fairly well. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is the cockpit, um, or well, the helm station, actually. So we have it's fully really equipped with BNG systems. Um, we've got like touch screen. We have two extra screens here with like more info, um, and we have like controller for the autopilot it's quite nice it's quite bright very works very well I mean nothing to, to add on that one option we took is like the electric winch because we're lazy <laughs> to put it simply um, but in the end we don't actually use it that much uh, because we realize that using the electric winch is actually not that great uh, it adds a lot of twist on your lines and also it doesn't you don't feel like how much tension there is um, so in the end we actually do most of the stuff manually and every now and then just now and then we just press the button. And it uses a lot of power. So um, when yeah. we lifted the David, the dinghy for example. It yeah, would, this, it this uses a like 100 amps hour. Yeah, so we've tried to do that manually. Keep fit as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. actually enjoy doing it now. Just yeah. you know, working as well. Welcome to the trampoline. Yeah, where you come? Uh, well, we, we are at anchor right now, so you guys can't see, but we upgraded the anchor. The standard is 20 kilos delta. delta yeah. We had 20.
25 kilo delta, we weren't so happy with it. It didn't set well and it's just, it wasn't for us. So we upgraded the boat with a 33 kilo rock now. So far so good. And it's also like the, this anchor that most Lagoon 42 have. I think it's good. fits well with the, with the boat. Very glad we did that upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Also set up there at the front, like we can fly a code zero and a spinnaker. So it's easy set up at the front. Yeah. So here we've got a bit more storage. So on our boat we've got the two um, water tanks, so 300 liters on each side, which gives us like a 600 liter capacity, which is quite nice. Um, other than that here, like we usually just put our fenders, this is the chain locker for the anchor. We usually have some spare fuel as well for the dinghy on this side. And on the other side, it's a bit more storage, we, we have our Code Zero sail here. Um, again, as I said, this is the other water tank, a couple of fenders, and we have our spare anchor down there under the sail and everything. The Delta yeah. 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Which we didn't anchor. use since we replaced with a new one. Maybe if one day we need to anchor like stern and bow, probably, but for now, it's down there. It's, it's quite nice, storage. yeah. Quite a big space, a lot of storage. And then you've got also these storage on either side, the peak storage. So um, you can have that as cabins, uh, especially in charter boats. We didn't. They're just storage. They're very deep and very long, and which fits all the spear fishing, kite surfing, diving stuff. Yeah, this is like our sports yeah, this side, is the sport toy forward section. peak. <laughs> and all that's the more toys. The cleaning sections. What else do we have in there? We have a spinnaker. We have one sail there. Yeah, and and like Drinks. Yeah, drinks, whatever. It's like <laughs> another garage. Yeah, another this garage. is. I think this is the actual garage. Yeah. This is the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolphin seats. Yes, that's over there. Do you wanna do a demonstration? Demonstrate. <laughs> so I don't think that's needed, but <laughs> my butt fits. There we go. We haven't seen dolphins for what a year. So <laughs> since it's, we're in the mid, it's just a seat now. Once. No, we saw them in Adaya like that was a month ago. Yeah, well, I think you're for one anchor, second. actually, which was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, dolphins are quite nice. The other thing here, where we are at the front, so we've got some cushions that you can chill and relax on. Uh, this was like an option, aftermarket option done by our dealer. Uh, but the other good thing on this boat is like the self-tacking jib. So, I mean, for people coming from the monohull world or other catamaran, or like you have to manage your jib when you want to change um, tack. When you want to tack or jibe on hours it's like we're lazy you remember you do nothing you just basically helm and then the, it will tack yeah. for you so it's quite nice Perfect. but obviously less angle because it's a self-tacking jib yeah. yeah got four solar panels uh each one is 330 watts so brings a lot of juice when there is sun and when you don't have shadow on it so i think one of the things that we have right now is like all three panels on this side are connected together to one charge controller and the other one is connected separate one which is not ideal because if you get some shadow like now on one of the panels it basically kills whatever you get on all three so that's a change yeah that's something would improve but overall i think it's quite nice for what we do we have our computers connected all day a mm. lot of stuff running it's more than enough we get more than enough juice in a day if it's sunny so yeah it's quite nice so um nearly two years on the boat right mm -hmm. yes yeah started in august 2020 that's yeah. when the boat was delivered yeah yeah, yeah. we're in june 2022 so. so is it everything you dreamed about yeah i think so i think it's very much what we thought it would be right i would say even better Probably, than expected yeah, yeah true i think we, because we made the decision so quickly we didn't think too far ahead <laughs> yeah. so there are many things i think we didn't think that we'll do that will be part of our, our lifestyle or even like just meeting people and yeah yeah that's not something you really consider but it's, it's been great yeah. yeah so what is it like to work and live together on well it's a big boat but still a small space Mm. What's it like? Yeah, you can't run away from each other, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. Yeah, I think we're a pretty good team. Yeah. We rarely argue and we can kind of use now to be in the same space. And actually, it's good because we get to see each other a bit more than back when we were on land working. 
and we still have enough space to like if I have a call I can go downstairs or we can have separate space he sometimes works from here and I work from inside so yeah yeah I think and then we because we're busy with our own like we have our own life in a way so yeah. during the day we each one has his own bubble yeah yeah, yeah. So and at the end of the day together, we still have a lot of things yeah. to say to each other which is surprising I think what I found hard is that split between the husband, the co-worker and the captain. It's like three different persons, a bit. No, it, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it's it's three different roles that you have to adapt to. Um, so that's quite interesting, I think, but it, it all works out really well. Yeah. 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 So are you, do you think you will ever go back to land life? I don't think so. Not in the you way know, most yeah. people would do, like not full time. I think we'll have a balance. I mean, yeah. that's what we're aiming for. Yeah. It's like having a balance, having the boat, being able to travel, and then also having like a base yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I think it's six months, six months kind of thing. That would be great. Because I, I guess what we miss is um, that kind of routine where you can go to the same shop if you like something, or you can see your friends in the evening because they live around the corner, mm. these sort of things that you don't get with this lifestyle. But I think if we go back to land life like full time, we would get bored. We would get bored. We love the fact that every kind of few days we have to rediscover, relearn everything. Where are the bins and where's the supermarkets? And uh, I love that. Like, yeah. where can we leave the dinghy or any interesting things to see around? I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, if it's something we were after initially, it's like change. Mm. Doesn't even even when we're living on land, we actually never stayed too long in the same place. We've done many countries where we actually lived, studied, and, and worked because we just couldn't stay in one place. Yeah. Uh, so I think just, this is just a natural evolution of it. <laughs> yeah. You can follow Anas and Noeli's adventures on Instagram. There, they also share more information on how they were able to finance their dream boat. Thanks for watching, and see you next week for more. Boat life is best.